Magic bicycles. 52 volts of magic power. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Talali Pop and you read the title right, Magicycle, the company that brought you this fat tire cruiser style electric bike has just released a brand new model but this time it's a full suspension electric mountain bike. And if you can't tell already I am pretty excited about this bike review because I loved the original Magicycle Cruiser so big thank you to Magicycle for sending this one out to me this time. Uh, but essentially in this video we're going to go over everything on this bike, the unboxing, the assembly process, uh, all of the different components on it like the battery, motor, screen, uh, the suspension fork, the tires, the drivetrain, the brakes, all that good stuff. And then at the end of the video I'll give it a nice test ride to give you my overall thoughts on the bike and if it's worth it. But for some highlights besides the full suspension feature, this bike comes with a full color LCD display screen, seven pedal assist modes, and a throttle that easily lets you go 28 miles per hour, an 80 plus mile range, and honestly, I think the bike also just looks great. They added some new colors for this model, like this one right here, Dawn Yellow, as well as a green one and the normal stealth black color. But I really just love the look of this bike. And hey, if you're already dying to purchase it, I will mention that this bike does retail for $2,700 US dollars, but is on sale currently for $2,500. And I did ask MagiCycle for some discount codes that I could give you guys, so definitely use the codes TMTB2 or TMTB4 after clicking the link in the description below. Uh, just go ahead and click that link and then add either code in the checkout to get $200 or $400 off any bike purchase depending on the total price. So you can get a nice little discount and help support the channel as well. And I should mention that my bike here is actually the touring version of this bike. They do have a slightly less expensive off-road version if you don't need the fenders and the rear rack, but I just thought the bike looked more complete with those items, so I opted for those. Okay, now back to the review. So. Magicycle themselves do refer to this bike as more of a soft tail bike rather than a full suspension and that's because they're kind of intending this rear suspension to be more of an added comfort on the road or on light trails so it's not necessarily designed for full-on mountain biking but just gives you that added plushness. And they're actually calling this bike an ESUV. You can see that printed on the seat tube here and that really gives you a good overall picture of what they were going for. Essentially an everyday bike that you can also comfortably take off road if you do want to do that. But in Enough introductions let's start off by talking about the build process you can see me build up the bike here and honestly the process was great the only difficult part was actually removing the bike from the box since this is the largest electric bike I've had to date and it was definitely a challenge getting it out uh, I even tried cutting the sides of the box but I eventually just had to lay the box down and pull it out that way Magicycle definitely includes a substantial amount of packing material in the box as well, which is great because the bike is very well protected, so I appreciate that. Besides that though, it was a pretty normal process. They do include a box of accessories, which you can see me open right now. All right guys, so Magicycle sends you a pair of beautiful white gloves to finish off your bike build. <laughs> And then I proceeded to attach the rest of the components like the handlebar and the front wheel and there aren't really any more steps that are completely necessary but personally I like to adjust the brakes and the drivetrain since I know how to do that from my job at Trek uh, but you should be fine either way. And the final satisfying step is of course to remove all of the plastic protectors on the bike. Alright but now let's cover all the specs starting with the tech stuff. So the battery and motor combination on this bicycle is a giant 52 volt 20 amp hour battery which is paired to a rear hub motor back here which is 750 watts and 96 newton meters of torque so a very powerful e-bike setup and that definitely places this bike in the very powerful e-bike category so it is indeed able to go 28 miles per hour max as well as have that 80 miles of range which is really cool to see. And while we're here on the battery, I'll mention that you can charge the bike with the battery still inside using this nice port on the side here. Or you can use the included key to unlatch the battery, turn the switch underneath the bike to kind of let the battery drop down. And then you can go ahead and charge it separately in your home or anywhere else. I do wish the process of removing the battery was a little less awkward. Uh, it does take some skill to position the front wheel out of the way to let the battery come out without dropping, so just be careful there. 
But moving on, let's go up to the screen. If you watched my last Magicycle review, you'll recognize the screen since it's basically the same. So you have a great colorful display that you can turn on or off by holding the power button on the top of the left controller right here. And honestly, I love this screen. More companies need to have color displays on their bikes. But essentially the main function here is seeing your current speed in the middle and your battery life on the top left right there. But you can also press the plus and minus keys on the left controller to go up or down in your level of pedal assist, so up to seven right there, and then you can go all the way back down. And you'll actually see the letter P when you go below pedal assist to zero, and that essentially means that the bike is parked and the motor will not engage, so that's a pretty good safety feature. And if you hold the plus sign, you can turn the lights on or off. You can also press the middle I button to cycle between your odometer, trip info, time and some more information there and on the right side here we have the half twist throttle that also lets you reach the top speed if you just hold it down and speaking of the lights these are also pretty similar to what we've seen before and in my opinion these lights work well for being visible at night or during the day so you're safer around cars but i do feel like they should be brighter for off-road riding during nighttime even in my garage here they seem pretty dim so that could be a little better and on the note of being safe this bike does also have reflective sidewalls on the tires for added visibility from the side but for the mechanical components let's actually talk a bit about the frame design this bike comes in two frame options a step over model like the one i have and a step through model which allows you to easily step through the frame of the bike to get on and off. The step through frame does cost $50 extra so keep that in mind if you do prefer the convenience of that frame. Besides that both frames can accommodate riders from 5 foot 5 inches in height to 6 foot 8 inches and actually both have a maximum weight limit of 400 pounds which is a pretty large amount so that's cool to see but that also makes sense since this bike actually weighs an insane amount at almost 93 pounds so it definitely takes some effort to haul around. And the bike does have the normal frame features of a kickstand, mounts for a front basket, and the nice rear rack I mentioned for the Touring model, which is actually a pretty long rack and has a good amount of space for carrying cargo. But next, let's cover that suspension. So the front fork is fairly standard for fat tire bikes. It has a coil spring, so it is a bit heavier than an air fork, and it has these wide uh, upper stanchions for added strength and durability on the trail. This fork does have a compression knob on the right side that you can turn to make it stiffer, and that's beneficial for riding on the road so you can go faster. I find that this fork does provide some added comfort to the bike, but it's nothing too high end, so don't really expect too much. For the rear suspension, we do also have a coil spring here, and this is fairly comfortable as well. You do notice it while riding and it does provide some added plushness, but I'll cover that a little more during my test ride. Moving on, we have the brakes, which are always a very important part to consider on e-bikes since you need to have good brakes in order to make these heavy bikes stop. In this case, I'm very pleased with the brake set on this bike since it comes with hydraulic disc brakes from the brand Bengal, and they actually feel fairly nice and stop the bike well enough. Uh, and that's partly due to the bike coming with these wider 180 millimeter wide brake rotors, so that's definitely a nice touch since we don't often see that on fat tire e-bikes. And now real quick for the wheels, these are pretty much the same as on the other Magicycle models, so we have uh, 26 inch diameter wheels with 4 inch wide fat tires for extra comfort and extra stability. They do have some good tread on them for traction off-road, so I don't have any complaints here as far as fat tires go. For the drivetrain, also pretty much the same as what we've gotten on the Magicycle Cruiser. So we have this large crank set up front for maintaining speed and a smaller freewheel with seven gears in the back for some varying uh, gearing options. Though, as I've mentioned in other videos, it really isn't all that nice. But at least they have a Shimano Altus derailleur back here instead of something super cheap. And the shifter up here is pretty much the same standard shifter we see on all other e-bikes as well. But overall it could have a higher quality drivetrain at this price point. But those are all the components so now let's get on this bike and give it a nice test ride so I can give you my thoughts. Alright, test riding the Magicycle Deer. This is so exciting. So this test ride is going to be kind of my initial review on the bicycle and then I'm going to take it on some longer rides, some trail rides, stuff like that. I'll make a video in the future kind of giving my overall uh, review on this bike but for now initial impressions at least <laughs> it feels very similar to the previous Magicycle Cruiser um, obviously the battery is now hidden away which is really nice uh, in terms of looks and sleekness at least the entire frame in general just looks a lot better in my opinion it still goes very fast oh man definitely feels more comfortable hop off curb eh, it's a little a little rough there but <laughs> it is also a very heavy bike so I'm not really expecting it to be like 
to handle everything that well. One feature I really don't like on this bike right now though is that if you hold down the throttle for too long, it kind of does cruise control mode and continues to basically engage the motor at full speed, <laughs> even if you don't want that. Um, it stops if you like press the brake or start pedaling, but I think you might be able to turn that off. And I'll throw in some footage of me like riding up hills and other grassy areas. Uh, the bike can definitely handle a lot. Um, you can see here initially that <laughs> I kind of fell off and uh, wasn't able to make it up this hill specifically, but I was able to redeem myself after that and go up this other hill on the side. So it does have a lot of power, um, but you gotta know its limits for sure. Probably can't see it that well on camera, but Ooh, it is steep. <laughs> but yeah, I love this bike. I, I liked the original Match Cycle Cruiser and I like this one even more. I'd rather have this one because of that added capability of the rear suspension. Would I pay a thousand dollars more for it though? That's that's a question I'm gonna have to decide on after I actually ride the bike. Because just for that rear suspension, you're you're paying essentially a thousand more, which is similar to other bikes. Like if you go shop for a mountain bike these days, you can pay like 500 or 600 for a hardtail or 1500 or more for a full suspension. So it's very similar pricing, I suppose. Um, so that makes sense, but it's gotta be capable enough. So we'll take it out on a trail in the next video and I'll give you my thoughts on that for sure. But for now, I can say for sure that this bike is amazing on the road. It's very comfortable, it's very fast. It has a lot of power, a long range. It's like literally the perfect bike if you do want to use it for on the road or on light trail purposes, for sure. It can handle any of that easily, especially with the soft tail now. Like the original Cruiser could do all of that. So this one can do all of it and more. Like you can see here on this like mini little section here, just I feel so smooth on here and I'm just wheezing through it so quick. Oh, <laughs> didn't realize how wet that was right there. Almost skidded out. Literally did like a side drift there for a second. You know, you got these fat tires on here that really keep you stable. And if you are in the market for a bike like this, I think this is a great option. This thing is crazy fast. I really like this bike. It's super fun to ride. <laughs> but that is it for this video, everyone. Once again, click the link in the description below and try to get that discount if you are interested in purchasing one of these Magicycle bikes or any of the other models on their website. They do have some cool ones on there. Uh, but besides that, thank you all so much for watching and being here with me this morning. I hope all of you have a great day today and remember to keep biking out there. <laughs>